Last time Callaway released a range of Apex hybrids, one of them went straight into my golf bag. So is that going to be the case in 2021? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here, guys. First things first, first things first, I would like to, um, well, first of all, I'd like to stop throwing head covers at you. But also I'd like to, to warmly welcome you all to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel. But guys, if you are new to the channel, please take two seconds to hit that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, we're talking Callaway Apex Hybrids and not forgetting the Callaway Apex Pro Hybrid. Now, last time Callaway released an Apex Pro Hybrid, it went straight in my bag and uh, it kind of stayed there for quite a long time. Guys, first of all, I'd like to apologise if the audio isn't quite as crisp as it normally would be in this video. I did film this video yesterday and it sounded like Hi this. Everyone, James Robinson here, guys. First things first, I would like to warmly so welcome So we've you ordered new mics and we're back on the... Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing our best. That's enough of the moaning and whinging. We've had enough to moan about so far this year. So let's get into the new Callaway Apex Hybrids. And you see, when I reviewed these yesterday, that is a great opening shot with the Apex Hybrid. I did actually really enjoy both these clubs, but for two different reasons. And I'm actually quite glad I've got a second chance to review these clubs. You see, there are stark differences between the Callaway Apex Hybrid and the Callaway Apex Pro Hybrid. Not only in one is a little bit stronger lofted, the Callaway Apex is one degree stronger lofted, and they're both saying that the three iron replacements. Also, the Callaway Apex is a little bit longer in shaft length. Standard and it just suits, it's just gonna suit the eye more of that kind of, I hate to say higher handicap, but the guy who's not really comfortable with long irons, the guy who isn't really comfortable with a three wood or a five wood, he just wants something that, that is the shape of an iron, but with all this on the back. And although when you put them down side by side now, you will see that one looks quite sleek, quite sexy, quite small, quite almost iron-like, and the apex, the alternative, does look a little bit big, a bit clumbersome, but that depends entirely, like I was saying, on what you do want from a hybrid. Do you want it looking like it's easy to launch, like you don't have to strike it amazingly well to get it up in the air, to get it going 209 yards? Um, yeah, I've just kind of described myself, really, but I do like the smaller one. Interesting, that was a toey one, and that's done incredibly well. It's straight down the middle, and it's gone even further, a little bit lower spin. And one of the huge differences in both these clubs is not just the size, not just the centre of gravity, not just the standard shaft length, but it's actually, I forgot what it is, adjustability. So the Callaway Apex Hybrid does have a fully adjustable hosel, as you'll see here, whereas the Apex Pro, which we are going to move on to in a second, doesn't have that. That's a kind of fixed neck. And when we get to that, you'll, you'll see just how... Oh, it looks even better than the last one, and that's some going, because I, like I said, I gamed the last one for like a year. It was the longest standing club in my bag for a very long time, and then I took it out for a driving iron, for some unbeknown reason. With the extra real estate you get on the back of the Callaway Apex, they've put this kind of carbon looking back on the top of it, and it does look... Look, if you like the look of carbon, quite sexy, I must say. And they've also found room for the traditional Callaway arrow for the centre point, which is also a nice touch, and you don't get that on the Apex Pro. Oh, that wasn't very good. There's nothing saving that one. So the real talking point in both these clubs is the AI jailbreak velocity blades, and I cannot believe I've got that right first time. It took me about 15 goes yesterday. But, but this is basically a newer version of jailbreak, and it means that the club face is a lot more stable top to bottom. It's a lot more stable across the face, all those things that you want. And that's really what I could kind of put that third shot down to that came out the toe but still performed incredibly well. I'll just move that ball, that was annoying. Right, let's have a couple more with the Apex, and we'll move on to the Apex Pro. Oh, that's really good. I've got to say, I do feel like I'm swinging better today, and I've brought the spin rate down. Yesterday, the Callaway Apex was spinning a little bit too high for me, and today, it's... Uh, I'm really looking forward to it in the Apex Pro, actually. As you'll see on the toe here, both of the clubs have the flash face. This is now Spring Summer 21 collection. Yeah, that joke is going to carry on. And it's amazing how my view on this club's kind of changed overnight because I'm really enjoying testing this now. I mean, it doesn't get as good as that. It just doesn't get better than that. The sound on these two golf clubs is quite phenomenal. It's almost like the sound of a... I was going to say something like really nice, but 
I've lost. It's nice. It's a nice sound. Right, let's move into the Apex Pro. And this is basically the smaller, sleeker, sexier looking brother. A bit like me with my brother. He's, he probably doesn't watch this anyway, so I'll just not go into it. And I guess I'm shorter. I'll give it that. Um, so looking down at this, it's much, much, much smaller. It's going to suit the better player. It's going to suit the guy who doesn't really want a 5 wood in there, doesn't really want a 3 iron, just wants that kind of sleek looking hybrid. So let's see how this goes. Now, I must admit, this is the one I think I would game. Unless I hit it like that. I mean, that's done quite well. I pulled it. Definitely straight away off the bat, not as forgiving as the standard Apex, which is totally understandable. I mean, you look at the size of this crown compared to the Apex, and it's they're like two totally different golf clubs which they kind of are. Although I must admit, I do really enjoy the sleeker look of this. And I've somehow marked the top of it, and I don't know how, because I only got it out yesterday. So I don't know if that's susceptible to marking or not, but that, yeah, that, that, that would annoy me a little bit. I do generally look after things as well. Oh, I've hit that good. I've hit that really good. Now remember, this is a degree weaker, and it's a little bit shorter in shaft length, but that felt phenomenal. This is designed for a slightly lower ball flight, and it is also designed for people who want to work the ball flight a little bit. You want to play it up in the air, you want to play it a little bit lower. You almost want to play a bit of a stinger shot and then move it right to left, left to right. I do none of those with my hybrids. I might try and play the odd stinger, but apart from that, the game for me with a hybrid is just to try and hit it as straight as possible, hopefully. Like that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. This is incredible. I'm so glad the audio didn't work yesterday. Check that out. Straight as possible, some would say. Oh yeah. But we can't judge this test on one shot. So guys, make sure you do get in the comments below and let me know which club could you see yourself using and why. Is there a reason why you could see yourself using the Apex Pro? Or would you be quite happy gaming the standard Apex, getting that forgiveness and just hitting high bombs? That bottom here and it's done really well again you can see how the spins shot up because i've hit it low in the face that's one at five thousand as opposed to three and a half thousand which the other shots have done but one thing which was really impressive is how it's maintained that ball speed it's maintained that distance i don't mind it picking up spin if it's still going the distance i'm looking at the computer down there and it's and i'm taking that all day i hit a bad shot with a driving iron and that's nowhere near so apart from totally different looks and different forgiveness characteristics, these clubs are actually oh, they're nothing like each other. They're nothing like each other. They're both good in their own way, but I do feel, I, I, for some reason, and I feel way more confident hitting the Apex Pro than I do the Apex. And that's really strange because the Apex is a lot bigger, as we've already mentioned, it's a lot more forgiving, but this just suits my eye a lot more. And I think there'll be a lot of people in the same boat and there'll be a lot of people in a totally different boat. The other boat, the, I don't know, boat, saying that the Apex looks way better and it's way more forgiving. And they'd be right, last shot. Toey, really toey, snuck a little bit right. But again, the argument with the ball speed and the distance, that had no right really. Going where it went from where I hit it, I felt the face sort of gear open a little bit there when I hit it out the toe. And generally, as long as you still pin high, as long as you still flag high, I mean 219 yards with a terrible strike with a hybrid, I'm not going to be asking much more from it. I might be greenside bunker, I might be outside the greenside bunker, but at least I've got a chip and potentially a put into that long par four or par five or par three. Guys, we've just hit a bunch of shots with the Callaway Apex Pro Hybrid and the Callaway Apex Hybrid, both brand new for 2021. What are the differences and what do I think? Let's take a look. So we'll start with the Apex Pro, which we've just hit. And generally, dispersion's not too bad. There were two bad shots in there and quite a lot of really good shots which were on the line. And one thing I like is that trajectory. It's a much well, it's a very, very consistent trajectory and it is quite a low trajectory, so you do know what you're getting with the Apex Pro. As I move into the Apex, you'll see actually, and this is strange because yesterday I hit the Apex and I'll show the dispersions in a second from yesterday. Um, they're a lot more closer together. I'm not hitting them as wide. Are they a little bit higher? Not particularly, whereas yesterday they definitely were. Let's take a look at the numbers. So numbers, we'll take a look at all the averages and we're averaging 217 carry with the Apex Pro, 214 carry with the Apex. Uh, we've got ball speeds pretty much identical, club edge speeds pretty much identical as well. And actually ball speeds slightly down on the Apex, 
spin rate's pretty much exactly the same. Now this is interesting, and I'm going to put and I'm going to put on screen now the numbers from yesterday's test. Quite similar numbers in distance. The one thing was I don't feel like I was swinging quite as well yesterday for some strange reason. Must have had a good night's sleep, and then and then but the apex hybrid actually spun a lot higher yesterday for me i wasn't striking it quite as well as i said but the numbers remain the same so that shows me just how forgiving this apex actually is and it shows me just how much can i prefer the apex pro the apex pro has done really well for me there i don't mind losing the odd one to the right the odd one to the left that's what i'm going to do anyway that is pilot error the main thing for me is it's maintaining its ball speed it's maintaining its distance and it's not a bad number for me, 220 with a hybrid. I think I could probably get a little bit more out with less layers on with warmer weather. It's... I don't know if you can see that, but it's not the warmest in here. And one of the biggest things for me, I'm going to hit one more shot because I really enjoyed this, is the ability to kind of hit that stinger shot. So if I want to send one out there about 200 yards, knuckleball really low, you can see that I can do that and I can send it left and it goes a very long way. Um, so apart from that guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this content. Get in the comments below which one could you see yourself using. This one might sneak its way into my bag, potentially. Also let me know if you want me to test this against the old one, because I know a lot of people, I don't think, I really don't think, this is an interesting one. I did say this in yesterday's, I want to make sure I get it in today's. I really don't think these are any better than the last ones. I'd have to test that to try it out. I think you're talking marginal gains on ball speed, potentially on the miss hits. Um, but I really don't think if you've got a modern hybrid, I don't think you're moving out of it into these. But if you are in the market for a hybrid, they're probably a very good option to go and try and get fitted with. Um, apart from that, guys, I'll, uh, yeah, I might put that earlier, but see you tomorrow. Bye.